This is gonna be El Dingo. The Dingo by Manco. We're gonna put an electric motor on it. A big one. Picked up on Craigslist. Didn't have a motor. Needed rear bearings and tires and tie rods. And when I went out and looked at this cart, main things I was checking on to make sure it was usable and the parts and everything, but doesn't seem to be wrecked too awful bad. Front bumper is all ain't totally smashed in or gone. Windows and the springs and everything seem to be in good shape. Floor pan. Don't see any major rust holes. Even the bars for the seat supports are all in good shape. Yeah, it's a good solid frame. Yeah, pretty well, pretty well built. This is pretty much the condition of the overall cart when we first got it. This thing's pretty crusty and just kind of flapping around there. Frame needs cleaned up. It's tires all the way around. These things are not the best. Tie rods. I'm kind of surprised the pedals is all still here. And even the brake linkage bar all the way back to the where the brake drum will go. As I said, the tires ain't so good, and probably gonna have to get fresh rims because even the valve stem holes got some pretty bad rust to it, so. We're going to try to find something fresh. Here's the rear tires that come on the cart. As you can see, they pretty well cracked up the drive rather. I don't think they was going to hold there if they did not very long. And also, this cart we're going to go electric, so I wanted to go a little bit smaller on the wheels and not so rest for tread. These were 18 by 9.50 by 8. Tires we went with, as I said, to come off a of riding lawnmower. I already had them, so I'll save cash. Are 16 by 6.50 by 8. So they'll still fit on the rim, but they're nowhere near as big as these ones that was on it before. There's the difference in tire size. I would say we got about 2 inches. And overall, So that should not fatigue our engine as much or drain our power quite as quick. We've already began the cleanup. And we'll do a series of videos outlining the various steps from cleanup to replacing the rear bearings and sprocket on the rear axle to squaring up the front wheels and steering shaft and replacing the tie rods. Then we'll get to installing the motor and the controller and everything else. And we'll try to show you step by step how we accomplish this and then we'll take a test drive and see how it all works together. Join us, it should be fun. The next video we'll show how we replace the bearings on the rear axle. And put a big electric motor right there. <sighs> Gonna get him back.